Ovarian cysts are commonly an incidental finding, but may be suggested by symptoms and signs. A pregnancy test should be performed to exclude an ectopic pregnancy. Management of ovarian cysts depends on the age of the woman and the characteristics of the cyst. In women of reproductive age, simple, thin-walled cystic adnexal masses of a maximum diameter of 50 mm without characteristics of cancer do not require further investigation unless they persist for more than three months. A follow-up scan can be arranged after four months to check for resolution. In postmenopausal women, this is conducted every four months in conjunction with a serum blood test for the cancer antigen 125, CA125, for a duration of one year. Perimenopausal women with simple cysts measuring 50 to 70 mm in diameter should undergo annual ultrasound follow-up. Women with larger cysts greater than 70 mm or persistent cysts may benefit from an MRI scan or surgical intervention. In older women, a conservative approach is only reasonable if the risk of malignancy is low. In perimenopausal women, the cyst can be followed by serial ultrasound scanning as many of the cysts will regress. When to worry in any patient having ovarian cyst is that if there is uncontrollable pain, hemodynamic compromise, suspicion of torsion or the cyst does not regress with time, then surgical management is advised. In most cases, this would involve a laparoscopic ovarian cystectomy with conservation of ovarian tissue as the treatment of choice. As the vast majority of eggs, the oocytes lie within 5 mm of the surface of the ovary, a carefully carried out cystectomy can leave a normally functioning ovary. Cyst aspiration is associated with a high risk of recurrence but can be considered after detailed counseling if the woman wishes to retain her fertility. An oophorectomy may become necessary if the cyst cannot be surgically removed from the ovary.